Welcome back to John's Films. Today we're going to answer the question of whether or not it's important to upgrade the CPU or the GPU for DaVinci Resolve 16. I'll use Minimi back here who has a first gen Ryzen 1600 in it and upgrade it to a 2700X second gen Ryzen processor. Let's go figure out where the money should be spent. Let's take a look at the system that we're working with. Currently, it's a six-core Ryzen 1600 CPU. It has an RX 580 in it. We'll also substitute in a 1070. And then it'll continue to have 16 gigabytes of DDR4 and 512 gigabyte SSD. Finally, for the big change, we're going to put in a 2700X and run the test to see how much more efficient it is than the 1600. I'll use the same benchmark that I used in my Mac vs. Windows benchmark video recently. You can check out up top. And now let's answer the question, what should I upgrade if I want to render faster? The typically CPU driven native benchmark shows about a 30% improvement between the 6 core 3.2 GHz 1600 jump into the 8 core 3.7 GHz 2700 X. Maybe we could have seen that coming given the results of the benchmarks we've seen online. However, this I didn't see coming. Using the graphics cards, hardware accelerated encoder, you'll notice a difference between the two processors. This surprised me. In fact, it's a significant difference if you consider that it's almost six minutes faster between the processors when most of the work is being done in the hardware encoder on the graphics card. This is fascinating news and really has implications in the NVIDIA camp more than it does in the AMD camp. I'll admit this isn't necessarily fair offerings between NVIDIA and AMD, though the 1070 did launch almost a year in advance of the RX 580. It was about $150 more at $350. But still, you can see, of similar generation, the hardware encoders are dramatically different in performance relative to the processor that sits in the system. Well, I'm pretty sure many me won't miss this. This is the 1600 stock heatsink. I'm really surprised. I didn't expect the 30% increase across the upgrade, but I'm pretty happy I got it. As for the question of what we should upgrade, I think the CPU makes a lot of sense, especially if you're using the free version. If you're not, uh, on the studio version, you need to evaluate what processor you have. The more cores you get, the better, but it looks like you can get pretty good bump in speed using the hardware encoder inside your graphics card and so if you don't have one that has a hardware encoder it's definitely where you need to go first and the second place you need to go would be with the processor because it shows that I'm getting scaling across that 1070 going from a 1600 to a 2700X I'm increasing over 30 percent in render times even with the GPU hardware encoder and that's huge. Thanks for watching Please subscribe to catch some more of this and have a great day.